everybody today I'm going to be showing you how I use my cameo and the pick scan mat to cut out or to make a file uh, with the stamps and so I can cut them out and then use my stamps to then stamp on it after so this is another way to use your pick scan mat I'm just going to be making a file so that I have it in the software so that I can cut the images out and then I can stamp them afterwards because I do a lot of fussy cutting vellum images and I do uh, white embossing on them and then I like to tuck them uh, behind my photos on my layouts and cards and different things like that. So. And then I also did watercolor, which I am super excited about. And this one, just a regular one. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is stamp out the images that you want to cut out. And at this point, if you want you know, five of these, you're gonna uh, cut out, or you're going to stamp five of those if you're doing the actual uh, stamp and cut with the pick scan mat. I am actually, like I said, just going to be making files so that I can cut them out later. So this is basically kind of like a template and then, but you could definitely, I will be showing you how to do that as well. So if you want five of these, you'll stamp out five of those. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cell phone or a camera, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to take a picture and it needs to be well lit and you need all, let me see if I can get that in frame. You need all of the points on the mat to be showing in your photo. Okay, whoops, battery's gonna die. All right, and I've already done this, so, oh, we can't even see what I'm doing here. All right, so you wanna make sure that it's pretty straight and when you add it to the software, it will tell you if it uh, is good or not. So then you're going to crop that to where it's just the mat. And you want to make sure, like I said, that you keep the little points in the photo. This is definitely not straight. All right, so all of these little points, this is where the software is going to figure out where your images are on the mat. All right, so after you've done that, you're gonna email yourself the photo, download it, and then I will show you how to add it to the software. So we are going to go to the computer now. If you are new to using your PicScan mat, this is going to be important because you're going to need to print out the test card with all these little dots. This is going to collaborate your, uh, your camera with the software and all that good stuff so that uh, it knows exactly how your camera takes pictures because each lens is different and all that good stuff. So you're gonna wanna do that. So you're gonna print it out, take a photo, and then you're going to upload it and then it will uh, have a, um, a profile of your camera. So I use my iPhone and then I'm going to, after you do that, you're going to take a picture, like I said in the beginning, you're gonna take a picture of your stamped images on the pick scan mat which is really important and then you're gonna upload it and I have it here right here and this is the third time I'm trying to do this video so hopefully this time it works all right so now that you're here it's super important if you're going to be stamping out say 10 flowers for you know your cards or whatever and then you're going to be actually cutting from your pick scan mat I'm not going to be doing that so my image doesn't have to be a you know perfect it did tell me that uh, it wasn't collaborated perfectly it wasn't aligned very good which that doesn't matter if you're going to be making a file of the Im image which I'm going to be doing but if you're going to be cutting from your pick scan mat like I said if I wanted to cut all of these out it definitely has, has to be perfect because then if it's not, it's not going to cut your images right because it's going to think your images are somewhere else, like on the page. I hope that's making sense. So, all right, so if your image is not perfect, it will tell you here and then you just have to repeat 
the process of taking the photo. It is a little bit time consuming and I think that's why I decided that I was going to just make the files and then stamp them after. So it's basically like using your dies and then stamping your dies, stamping on the die cuts after you cut them out. And I know some people don't like to do that. I don't mind, um, especially now that I have the Tim Holtz platform. It's super easy to do. So we are going to uh, go to the little butterfly image and you're going to go select trace area and you're going to just drag it over the image that you want to trace. I think you could probably do this for each image if it's the same image but because these are all so different I'm just doing them all separately. So you're going to go here to the threshold and you're going to bump it up really, really high to get that all nice and outlined. I probably do it more than it needs to be, but I really want a good uh, outline image so that it cuts nicely so I could stamp on it later. All right, I bump it up all the way until it gets those little pixels up there and then I just bump it back down and then for whatever reason I don't know I found this to be helpful I just bump that up and I don't mind that up there a little tiny bit because you can get rid of that later then I'm gonna go trace outer edge and you're gonna see here that you're gonna have areas that are not that you don't want cut out so I want the uh, flower to be cut out completely just the outline I don't want it to have any holes or anything like that. So what you're going to do, first you're going to release compound path and sometimes this works for certain images. Uh, for this one it doesn't. You could see that it did not release that little area inside of the flower. So what I found helpful was to click the image. You want to make sure that that is selected, your image is, is selected, and then you're going to go offset. I always want to say outline. Uh, I guess it's kind of the same thing. And you're going to click offset, and you could do this as much as you want or as little as you want. I do it probably 0.50 or 0.25, depending on the image. So we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to drag that outline. Let's see, did I drag the wrong one? Let's see. Keep dragging the wrong one. Alright, so we're going to drag the outline image and then we're going to go release compound path. And then this time it's going to get that little area on the inside of that flower. So now you have a nice outline image where you can stamp on after you cut it out. And we're going to do one more. And we're going to go trace area. Let's do, where's my mouse? There it is. All right, we're going to do this one. Move it over just a tad. And this one I found a little bit harder because the image is not complete. I don't know how to say it. It's The lines are not connected all the way. So it gave me a little bit of trouble, but I think I figured it out. All right, and we're gonna go low pass on just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go trace outer edge, and then we're going to click that image again, and then we're going to do offset. And oh, it's perfect this time. Okay, so we have that offset image. So now you have this so that you can tuck in between areas of your projects and all that good stuff. And you don't have to fussy cut it and you don't have to spend the money on the dies. I am sure stamp companies hate people like this that make these videos, but the dies can get pretty pricey and I would much rather buy more stamps then by dies. Okay, next you're going to cut these or copy them 
and then you're going to get another area, another, you're going to paste them. And this is how you're going to cut them out. So I probably will be doing this um, in bulk. So I'll probably do a full page of each image. That way I just have them probably on vellum and watercolor paper. And that way I don't have to do this each time I want to make a card. All right. So I'm assuming you know how to cut things out from your cameo. Let's see. We're going to go send. And down here you can change uh, your thickness. So I have it at, you want to click your material, so just a plain cardstock. But I will actually, it wants to do it at three. I will probably do it at five. And I, I don't know, I just like to do it a little bit um, deeper than it says. And then you're just going to send it to your Cameo and then it will cut out. So now I'm going to take you back to the desk and show you how I'm going to be stamping on these images that I cut out. All right, so I will be cutting out a lot of watercolor images. So I wanted to show you guys that you could do that as well. I use the cover stock option on the, uh, the software and then I bump it up to eight and then it will do a double pass and I uh, successfully did that last night, cut out the images from watercolor paper. All right, so I cut out a few images from the watercolor paper, and what I'm gonna do is just stick a little tiny bit of tape runner on there, stick it on the Tim Holtz platform, and then I'm gonna take my stamp and align it to where I want it. Looks good. Oops. All right, sorry, my camera died. So I'm inking this up with some Altenew ink. And I just get the little cubes. Uh, I would normally emboss this with white embossing powder because I would be watercoloring, but uh, I'm just gonna do it this way this time. And if you're going to use Versamark and embossing powder, you're gonna want to stamp the image twice with the Versamark. That way, whoops, I had a little off there, but I think you get the idea. And I love the, plat the platform because as you could see, maybe, I don't know if you could see that, but in the middle it didn't stamp that great. So I'm gonna just go over again. Just like that. Then you have your stamped image like that. I didn't align it perfectly, but I think you get the point. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find it helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it on social media everywhere, Pinterest, Facebook, tag somebody, uh, email it to somebody, any way you like. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Uh, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to uh, say hi. I love reading your guys' comments. And I want to thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye!